to the Americas. So uh, uh, quite naturally you had three tribes left. So when the Roman Empire came on the scene, it took down those three, th uh, three tribes. And they cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood, and the dragon st uh, stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. That was Yahweh, the Messiah, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Okay, so now you get the gist of uh, the dragon also, also being known as a beast, which is a pagan Roman Empire. Well, let me go back to 13. It says, and I saw, and I saw one of the heads as if it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Now it says that, I'll read it again. And I saw one of the heads as it was wounded to death. That was the Roman Empire. There was a point where the Roman Empire fell to death. And his deadly wound was healed. How was his deadly wound healed? When the European nations came back into power and um, they, they created uh, what was called um, the uh, uh, NATO. All right, NATO came about um, in 19, was it 1949? 1949, and I believe they got their chart, well 1949, because they had a, uh, a celebration of 50 years at the UN and that was in 1999 I remember that because we spoke about it when we were out there speaking in the camp but anyway they celebrated uh, 50 years of the uh, of NATO and NATO which is uh, the acronym for North Atlantic Treaty Organization um, are a series a bunch of nations European nations with military might that came together as one to uh, fight against the Ru uh, Russians if the Russians were to attack any one of those nations. One of the key nations of NATO is uh, the U.S. But why? Because they have a military and they're mentioned in prophecy and they're part of the beast. Now when you um, bring it up to date, um, it's uh, 2013 and a couple of months it'll be 2014 and we're living in a technical world. Back during World War I or prior to that, you use these conventional guns. Now they have heat-seeking missiles. They, they, they use computers, all right, um, and technology to use these, mess, uh, these missiles uh, or, or use these weapons of war. So everything is techno technological. Everything is based upon a computer. Now, the ultimate thing that they're going to do, NATO, the beast is going to do, is call a, cause the whole world to receive a mark. And that mark is the, uh, my, uh, the microchip that you read about, that you hear about, that you see commercials on, that certain people receive for their medical records. And that all ties into the uh, so-called Obamacare uh, program. It ties all into that. So I didn't want to get too much into the into the mark, but I wanted to cover cover what the beast or who the beast was. Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that the constitutional journey must continue to speak to these consequential decisions, or that we've gone far enough in protecting against government intrusion into our autonomy, into the most personal decisions we make. Judge, that's why this is a critical moment. I have an uh, article from uh, entitled These Last Days News, and it's dated February 13th, 2013. And the reason why I want to bring out this article is to introduce you, those of you who may not be familiar with this term, Mark of the Beast. Now, earlier Elder Tar went into the Beast and explained um, 
what the beast is comprised of, what that term means. But now let's take a look at this mark that this beast is coming with. Now the word mark, I believe the Greek word there means also means sign. So this microchip is also a sign of this beast. All right. So going back to the article, which is dated February 13th, 2013, which is pretty relative. On March 23rd, 2013, the microchip in the Affordable Care Act of 2010 will become mandatory. There's a pretty startling thing in the bill that 95% of Americans won't like. And that's one of the reasons why you'll have insurrection, because you'll have a lot of people that will uh, come against that idea of being microchipped, that idea of being of a chip being put inside of them. So that's one of the reasons why you'll have insurrection. And the Bible speaks about in the last days, there shall be sedition among men, there shall be insurrection. So reading on, it says, Obama Care has a, mic has a microchip implant for you. Now, those of you who have been hearing that term Obamacare in the news, guess what? Part of Obamacare is you receiving the microchip, whether you want it or not. And that lends credence to the book of Revelation 13 and 16, where it is written, He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That lines up perfectly with Obamacare. All right, Obamacare has a microchip implant for you. The Obama health care bill includes under class 2 paragraph 1 section B a class 2 device that is implantable. All right, a class 2 device that is implantable underneath the skin. All right. Then on page 1004 it describes what the term data means in paragraph 1 section B. In this paragraph the term data refers to information respecting the device described in paragraph 1 includes claims data, patient survey data, so this chip is, is going to contain your information, your medical information is going to be on that chip. Also your uh, uh, financial information. So it makes it all the more convenient for these elites that want to control you in something called a New World Order, it makes it convenient for them. All right? Uh, standardized analytic files that allow for the pooling and al analysis of data from disparate uh, data environments or disparate <coughs> data environments. Electronic health records. Electronic health records and any other data deemed appropriate by, by the secretary. As approved by the FDA, a class 2 implantable device is an implantable radio frequency transponder system. That's where you get the term RFID chip. For patient identification and health information. And that's the angle that they're using. They're using the angle of health. So-called health. Because really the word health is from the Greek meaning whole. Now the reason why you people, your, your health is bad is because you're not eating whole foods as prescribed by the Bible. So there really is no such thing as health. The healthcare system is a sham, it's a joke, all right? And to add insult to injury, now they want to chip you, all right? This sort of device would be implanted in the majority of people who opt to become covered by the public health care option. And who is that? The majority of those people. You so-called Negroes, you West Indians, you Puerto Ricans, you tribes that trust in the so-called health care system. With the reform of the private insurance companies, and uh, you better believe the insurance companies are in on this to make that money, many people will switch their coverage to a more affordable insurance plan. That's what, that is your, your so-called Obamacare, all right? Which, have an, which has the uh, chip prepared for you. Uh, this means the number of people who choose the public option will increase. This also means the number of people chipped will be plentiful as well. The adults who choose to have a chip implanted are the, are the lucky, yes, lucky ones in this case. Children who are born in the United States who at the time of birth is not otherwise covered under accept, ac acceptable coverage will be qualified and placed into the chip or children's, now listen to this, into the chip 
or Children's Health Insurance Program, which that word CHIP is an acronym for Children's Health Insurance Program. So they got it all covered, man. They want to cover you as well as your children. Can you see now why it is written in Revelation 13 and 16? He calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. Um, it says, we'll be qualified. Put this back on. <laughs> all right. Um, I lost my... Uh, my information here get it back no worries it says will be qualified and placed into the chip or children's health insurance program what a convenient name even the article says what a convenient name these devils that's why that's why it is written of the devil of the serpent the so-called white man he was more subtle than any beast of the field all right he is very subtle in wickedness all right and this is this is an example all right with a name like chip it would seem consistent to have the chip implanted into a child they don't give a, give a damn about your children all right children conceived by parents who are truly covered under the public option will more than likely be implanted with a chip by the consent of the parent because the parents don't know any better all right e eventually everyone will be implanted with a chip now what does the scripture say? Eventually everyone will be implanted with a chip. Well, let's go to Revelation 13 and 16. It says, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. What is that mark? That mark is the chip. Because the Greek word there is karagma, which means a thing inserted. Now we read the definition of the class two device. It is a device that is implantable. So the words implantable and the word karagma, which means a thing inserted, they line up perfectly. So you cannot tell us that that chip is not what the mark of the beast is. And those of you that say any different, either you sell, you sold out, or you're just plain too stupid to see it, or you know, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is not dealing with you. All right. And then as you read on in the 17th verse, it says, and that no man might buy or sell. Why is that? Because contained on that device is also your financial records, as well as your health records. And no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. This is the 18th verse. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6, which basically simplifying that explanation basically that's showing you that the so-called white man is the devil all right which the word devil means deceiver so there it is you know uh, you know explain to you this class 2 device is an implantable device and it links up with the book of Revelation 13 and 16